Everyone online is hyping up Google's VO3 like it's the only way to make AI videos. But a lot of people are forgetting about this other AI video generator that's cheaper, faster, and still creates extremely high quality videos just like this. This tool is Kling, and I've spent the last month testing every setting, compiling the best tricks, and pushing this tool to its limits. Some of the features I found completely change the way I use Kling right now. In fact, most people who try Kling completely miss them, which is why their videos never look as good as they could. Once you know these, it will feel like you're unlocking a secret level inside Kling. And so in this video, I'm going to show you four insane tips that will make you a master inside Kling AI without needing any prior experience. Now the tool I'm going to be using in this video is called OpenArt and I'll leave a link down in the description below. So if you want to follow along, you can. I am using OpenArt because it gives you access to Kling alongside dozens of other AI models all in one dashboard. Instead of jumping between different websites, paying for multiple subscriptions and learning different interfaces, you get everything unified in one place. Plus, there credit system is way more affordable than paying for each tool separately. All right, let's get into the first tip. And this one is probably the most important of all. It is learning how to structure your prompts. The reason it is so important is because Kling doesn't guess well. If you give it vague prompts, you'll never get the exact results you had in mind. And the AI needs context in order to deliver good outcomes. Think of it this way. Imagine the AI is like a cameraman. If you don't tell the cameraman what to film, how to film it, and where to film it, you'll end up with random footage that doesn't match your vision. But if you give clear specific directions, you get shots that look exactly the way you imagined. So specifics lead to less randomness and much more control. To make this super simple, I like to use a formula I call forms. The F stands for focus on this subject. This is where you describe who or what the subject is. It could be a woman, a man, a dog, or even some magical creature like a robot. And this is also the part of the prompt where you get more detailed. For example, you could say a woman with blonde hair, blue eyes, tall or short. That's how you describe your subject clearly. The O stands for outcome or action. This is all about about what you want this subject to be doing. Maybe it's running in slow motion, maybe it's fighting, maybe it's flying, maybe it's giving an interview. Whatever you want this subject to do, this is where you spell it out. The R stands for realism or style. This is where you explain what kind of look and feel you want the video to have. Do you want it to look cinematic and realistic with natural lighting? Or do you want it to be more stylized, maybe something artistic or abstract? The clearer you are about the style, the closer you'll get to your vision. The M stands for motion, which is basically the camera work. Kling responds really well to film language. So the more camera details you add, the better the output looks. You could say close-up shot, wide shot, a tracking or panning shot, or even an overhead drone shot for something with epic scope. By giving these kinds of details, you make the shots feel like real cinematography. And finally, the S stands for setting. This is where everything takes place. Is it in Tokyo? Is it at a beach? Or is it inside a small room? This is where you also add more detail about the environment, because that context helps the AI keep things consistent. Now, I know all of this might sound a little complicated at first, and that's exactly why. I created an AI prompt template that already follows this structure. It ensures your ideas become consistent, top quality prompts with ease. Let me show you how it works. So what you do is you just copy over the prompt that I'll leave down in the description below and paste it straight into your chat GPT window. Now in the idea bracket, you basically just want to explain in a short and simple way what the main idea of the prompt is. For example, I'll type something like a man flying a helicopter in a POV shot. And as you can see, it instantly gives me a full length prompt that we can now copy and head over to open art. Once you're inside, look on the left hand side and open your video workflow. In the text to image section, you want to select Kling as the model. Now, as you'll notice, there are a lot of models here and technically you can try all of them if you want. But for this video, we're going to stick with Kling 2.1, which is their newest and most powerful model. From there, you just paste in the prompt and you can choose whether you want the duration to be 5 seconds or 10 seconds and then just click create to generate your video. And as you can see, the video came out looking great. The landscape in the background looks very sharp and the guy flying the helicopter looks extremely realistic. One thing to note here is that Kling didn't quite capture the POV format the way it was intended, but overall this is still a very high quality video. Now this leads me to the next tip and that's upscaling your videos. Because when you create a video like this that already has a lot of detail, you really want it in the best possible resolution you can get. And with OpenArt, you can actually upscale your videos all the way up to 4K. Here's how it works. Just click on the video and in the bottom right corner, you'll see an option that says video upscale. Click that and it will open a new window. In that window, you can select the resolution. In my case, I'll choose 4K and you can also choose the frame rate. For this example, I'm going to select 120 frames per second to make it as smooth as possible. Finally, once you've chosen your settings, you're ready to generate the final upscaled video by clicking the enhance video button. This isn't something you'll really notice if you're watching on your phone, but for those of you who might be watching on a TV or a larger screen, you'll immediately see how much sharper and smoother the video looks after upscaling. So if you're using AI video, 
videos, especially with Kling, and you want to use them for something more advanced, then this is a must have feature. Now in this next step, I'm going to show you how you can both add a green screen to your photos and then use them inside Kling. For this example, I've got this photo of a dog right here. So I'll head back to open art and on the left side, I'll select the image option. As you can see, it opens up the image workflow. For the model, I'll select nano banana and in the prompt, I'll write, make the background a solid bright green color. Then I just click create. And as you can see, we now have our same photo of the dog completely unaltered, but with a full bright green background. The next step is to click in the top right corner on image to video right here. And as you can see, open art opens a new window of our dog already in an image to video generator. Now I can write in any prompt I want. In this case, I'll use this one right here, make the dog run. For green screen prompts like this one, you actually want to go very simple so that the AI doesn't redraw the background. I'll leave the duration at five seconds. And for the quality mode, I'm going to select master. Now there isn't a huge difference between pro and master. The main difference lies in the depth of the model's interpretation of your prompt. So if you want to save credits, you can usually stick with pro, but for this showcase, I'll leave it on master and then just click create. And as you can see, the result works perfectly. The dog is still on the green screen and the video itself is fully working. So if you ever want to recreate your own ideas, or if you want to generate AI footage with a transparent background, so you can layer it into your videos later. This is a must have tip to know. Now, if you're planning to use your AI content for short form videos, this next tip is for you. Kling actually allows you to create vertical style videos that fit perfectly for any type of short form content. Here's how it works. Head back into your text to video field and make sure the model is still set to Kling. Then just paste in your prompt. For this example, I'm going to use a casual man on the street interview where the focus is on a person speaking confidently to the camera, creating the outcome of an authentic and engaging street interaction as they answer questions with natural gestures and expressions captured in realistic documentary style detail with a handheld camera that slightly shifts and zooms for emphasis set on a busy city sidewalk with people and traffic moving in the background. For the duration, I'll leave it at around 10 seconds. And this is where you want to adjust the aspect ratio. By clicking the drop down menu, you'll see different options, the usual horizontal style 16 by nine, and also the vertical portrait style nine by 16. For short form content, you'll want to select the portrait option. Once that's done, just click create. And as you can see, the video comes back looking amazing. And now it's already in the short form format. This ensures your content is optimized for TikTok, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, and similar vertical platforms, eliminating the need for post-production adjustments. And now you know four insane tips that unlock the real power of Kling. And with them, you can start creating professional looking videos, just like the ones we made today. But here's the best part. With open art, you don't have to stop at just Kling. You get one simple platform where all the tools and models work together. No need to learn prompts or jump between apps. So if you're ready to take what you learned today and take it even further, go sign up for open art using my link down in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.